Yo, yo, welcome back. Today we'll be looking at the Porter Pack Hack RF1, the H4M, but this is also going to be uh, for the Porter Pack H2 as well, so not just the H4M. But we will be going over the Recon app today. So we get right into it. We're going to go into Receive. We're going to go down to Recon. Now, the Recon app is pretty cool. It is very similar to, to the audio or level app, but you can fine tune it a lot more. So if we go back in the Recon app, for instance, we can look at it right here. And up top, we have the standard areas of the LNA, the VGA, the amp, and then the volume. And up here, this blue area that is showing the results. And then the current area right here, this broadcast AM, that is going to be what you're loading into it if you were if you were to load from the actual Freakman area. Going down, we have our level that you just saw peak right there. That red or that blue red, that's our level of what we're receiving. And we can see that we are scanning already. Uh, I don't have this set to scan anything yet, but we will, we will be scanning here shortly. Uh, we're just going to go over like what mostly all of this is real quick. So again, we have our frequency of what we're scanning right here. And then we have our RSSI, and then we have our timer. And then we can also choose a start frequency and an end frequency if you wanted to fine tune this. And say like, I actually use this in the radio sound video to fine tune the exact frequency of what that radio sound was transmitting at. So this is a really cool area that you can fine tune to dive into like if you're not sure if it's like 146.520 or 146.520 you know for instance so you can kind of use that to figure out where that frequency really is um, peaking at its threshold and then we have our configuration area right here and over here we can look at the we can select the input file uh, so if we go into that we can select any one of these so if we go do cv band a for instance right if i can let's go here we go and then we can go save. So now we're scanning on that CB band. You can see up here that we changed from what we were earlier on the AM band. Now we're on CB band. So um, I don't have my antenna extended. Uh, so you can see that right now I'm not really going to be receiving too much. Plus I'm also inside in the middle of the house. So um, there's a lot of dampening going on here. And then going down, we can do a search. So if we were to go, like I said earlier, to this frequency start and then and we can actually do that search and then they would just search though that perimeter that parameter right there um let's see here match continuous so match continuous that is a measurement is done in a lock weight msx so i'm reading all this off of the github documentation under the app area for the recon app so um i will post this link in as an overlay we're not going to get into all of that but we're going to continue down here if we are scanning an am like we are right now for a cv band that we are in we can change that to narrow fm we can change it to wide and then of course as you're changing that you can see that our steps are also changing over here um, so we can also select that and then fine tune how much we want that to step uh, per that band and then we have our squelch of course that we can set and then we can pause now if we go into the audio app it actually jumps us into the audio app itself so say we did lock onto a frequency that we liked and we want to hear it and visually see it on that waterfall display then we could definitely go and tap audio and it's going to go into the audio app however when you go back out of the audio app it does not take you back to the recon app it just takes you back to your receive screen so you got to go back into your recon app to get there uh, we can store that, what we just listened to, we can forward, and then we can reset, and then we have our mic transmit. Um, if you wanted to transmit on that, you could. And then it's going to jump us into our microphone settings. Uh, for the PTT right here, um, making sure that we're going to be on that frequency that we want to transmit on. And the amp, the mode, AM, you know, the basic stuff that you would have a set in a ways if you were going to be trying to transmit on the porter pack. So let's go ahead and see if this thing can find some frequency. So I have here a Bionics. This is a Fox. Uh, this is the Microfox MF50. And it runs on 2 meter. It is a 50 milliwatt. And I have a short stubby antenna because I don't want to transmit too far. Um, so I doubt that it's going to transmit out of my house. But 
not that that matters. So I know that the frequency that I have for this is going to be 146565. So if I go to my start area that we were at, and we're going to go ahead and tap in here, 146.500, and then our end, let's go to set our end to 146. Point, uh, we'll go 700 and then we're hit done. So if I now hit search on that, we can see that we are in manual mode. You saw that up top, jump to manual recon. So now we are just scanning those parameters right there. And you can see that up here we are at 146 and it's jumping uh, fairly fast. You know, we're looking at 51. Yada, yada, yada. So when we get to 565, if this thing is on, that might help out if it's on. Okay, now we're on. All right, so now we can see that little transmit light going. When we get to 146565, we should get a lock, theoretically, right? Let's see here. Oh, there we go. We got something right there pinging already. Now, if we throw our volume up, because I don't have my volume up yet. So what you're hearing right there is the Morse code from the actual Fox itself. So for instance, if I shut it off, it's going to stop. And then when I kick it back on and we cycle back to that frequency on the porta pack, we should be hearing that Morse code pinging again from the Fox. But yeah, the battery is good. Um, this is set to transmit, I believe, let's see here. We're set to do a tone speed of 50, a tone duration of 15 seconds, and then a loop every 30 seconds. I'm using the Clockwork Pi over here. Uh, when I just configured the Fox, uh, these, are, these are the parameters that I set from the uh, Bionics uh, web updater to the Fox. So um, I set the frequency, you can also set the tone, you can set uh, your own Morse code, yada, yada, yada. So that's kind of what that does over there. And we're almost back at that point, but we might, let's pause it real quick, because I think we're going to miss it. There we go. And then it'll just keep repeating that. So if you are new here and, and you may not know what a fox is, fox hunting is a way of doing radio direction finding on a transmitter. Um, a lot of radio clubs do it as a game. So this little guy, you know, you can go and hide somewhere. You can, you know, have it transmit at every five minutes, every 30 seconds, every two minutes, whatever you want. And then the goal is then to use a radio of sorts. You know, it could be a, you know, a Hacker F1. It could be an actual, you know, Baofeng, for instance, or a handheld. And you kind of use a Yagi type antenna to direction find where that strongest signal is coming from and then you're going to kind of locate into that signal by looking at your levels of your signal um, overall um, your swr for instance so uh, you could use the porta pack to do that there's actually a app for it right over here called fox hunt and i haven't used it yet i'm, I'm going to save it for when we get to the fox hunt app and then we can kind of use these two in tandem but as of right now, I'm just showing you mostly what the Recon app does and how to use it and what a signal that you have received and locked onto looks like. So that's kind of the gist of it. Uh, there's not a lot to it. It's just a more fine-tuned version of the audio app and the level app, in my opinion. I like it a lot better because, again, trying to find those exact frequencies, you can really tune into them just by hitting your search, your search area and then kind of just, if you know more or less like what your device is transmitting at, you can really fine, fine tune to it and that can help you lock onto more signals. Um, so I hope that helps. I hope that somebody gained something from this video. I appreciate your time. And as always, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Like, subscribe and do all that fun stuff.